Welcome back. Team Secret have a very normal draft, right? Like, there's nothing weird about it. It's all very bog standard. Push these people off. There's the son of the Brood Mother after destruction. She is pushed back into the tower, but Shik Shack not respecting the Chen's early damage. And White Bond going to be on the ball with the first blood there. They can't really push that advantage. Pure. Take a lot of damage. There's a double edge. The stun on cooldown, but another double edge is there. And now Pure brought down by the Shadow Poison. Thompson trying to. Push the lane out as quick as possible to get that level 6. There's a lot of damage caught in there. There's a flank from Nightcast and Toss into the Remnant. And Thompson will get the kill. And that gives him the level 6. He needs to keep going. The Pentians as well. And that will give Nightcast the attack speed to put that Shadow Demon down. There you go. He even immediately starts pressing the corner with it. Oh, Puppy. Gonna catch Ramsey with Chrysalis. And I believe this is just a dead Batrider, even though Nightcast shows up eventually. Not going to be enough to save. Ramsey's on the bat rider. Did go for the first iron boot to travel. Very old build, but it checks out. Brew Mother going to go for the orchid. Well, tiny. Getting tossed in the... Uh, going to toss someone in the air mid. Gordon it is. Has a remnant to get out, and he will pass the mid tower. Now, Thompson, again, he sees red in his eyes when he sees a shadow demon. Going to keep going. Stampede will be used, but Thompson just going to jump to safety. Out, we will get him used up on the other spirit to make sure that he is healthy and ready to go. What the what? Rotation bot. Pure going to get the kill onto Chrysalis. Didn't have ulti. Looks like he tried to use it to stay alive. And it looks like it wasn't even a lasso. Wait a minute. Okay. Pure just rotating through the portal. And this surely is a dead tower. We are in the mid lane. Nine class looks like he was getting dove. There is a toss though onto Topson. Going to get the stun as well. There's a remnant. Not going to hit. Won't need it with the overcharge right click. Meanwhile, the Chen heal doing so much to keep these heroes alive. Corden has a regen. Just going to jump to save Ian Nine Class. Like he saw a bit of the fear of God there. As Gordon wants more. Has that regen. Has the side of fist, but doesn't have the range to keep going. Now TP up into the top lane. TPing onto those spider lanes. Such a good use of the macro. As Boom going to get lassoed up. Disrupted. 60 health. On the brood, but Ramses will commit for it. And he'll die, but he gets the kill on to Boom. Pace used by Thompson. Rotating up to the top lane. He sees a Shadow Demon. You know what that means! Gonna get the stun. Immediately rooted up. Stampede is there. Thompson taking a lot of damage. We'll jump into the trees and get the kill either way. There's a toss on to Boom. But Poppy is here. Hits the cog. So is Chrysalis. This is just turned into a full blown team fight. White Mon gonna get the kill on to Boom. Pure. Getting right clicked down by Chrysalis, but will back up. Meanwhile, Corden gets the kill on to White Mon. Thompson will put down the Earthstar Clockwork. Now Ember Spirit jumps through. Gonna get the root on to the Ember Spirit. Now putting up another remnant. He's feeling himself. He's feeling confident will eventually jump out. So it is a two for one. Actually, Shadow Demon died, so it's a three for one. I beg you. <laughs> Thompson, he sees a Shadow Demon, and to him, that's free real estate. Just gonna right click him down, and the Orchid will pop. Pure gonna be one to get that kill, thanks to the silence. Not as valuable of an initiation tour as it used to be. Oh, he's himself to safety, no aggressive. Plays here as Chrysalis, gonna get the tower, pure, still on the lookout. And the spiders, they start. Thompson gonna go forward. Does he see a shadow demon? He does, but he doesn't go for it. Root onto the brood mother. Now a good stun onto the ember, into the lasso. And Corden caught sleeping in that mid lane. Will probably go down to the mass amount of creeps. Got a point will stack up, but not be enough to stop the advance. Meanwhile, Ramses and Thompson get the kill down in bottom onto Corden with the lasso. Clockwork scouts them out on the high ground. And there's the hook to the brood mother. Silence going to be used. There's the sample as well. Boom with the follow-up stun, but he doesn't really have the backup. Nine class found out. Doesn't have stun, doesn't have toss, doesn't have anything. Rooted up by the troll warlord and brought down. Now Boom going to be stunned out. Thompson, as we said, finds a shadow demon, kills a shadow demon. Going to go for Shik Shack and get that kill. You know, Ramsey finishes off Boom. Root up onto the Storms, but it's a double kill for that troll warlord, but he will die with ult, by the way. Now BKB up on Pure. Going to right click down. The clockwork, it's a double kill for Pure. It's a four-person wipe. Ember Spirit does have a remnant to jump to, but there is a Batrider. 
Waiting for him there. Smoke up in the mid lane. Tundra want to keep the momentum going. Nine cast. Smoke going to break off the clockwork. But it's a lasso on the Shadow Demon. Ramsey's channeling his inner Thompson here to get the kill. He will pick it up. Now Puppy also to fall. The jetpack will keep him alive a little bit longer. But Pure will devour the upstart clockwork. And once again, Topsy going forward. Yules used defensively on the other thread. There is the Avalanche trying to combo up the stun to give Topson a chance to use W, but not. And there's the Stampede, but the hook misses. They want to fight here. Boom going to hit the double stun. Topson should be at least able to get out. Leaves Tiny for dead. It's a secret with a good response there with their mid laner getting gone on. This whole time, Tundra just taking the Roche. And I think they would happily trade their position for for an Aegis on their Broodmother. This Broodmother, though, pretty terrifying. They haven't managed to get anything really done with this Aegis. As Clockwork jumps in mid, find Rams. It's Pot BKB. Chrysalis wants to go for more. Batrider slowed up thanks to the ulti from Shadow Demon. The root as well onto the Batrider. The lasso doesn't really have an effect. Pure trying to chase down the Clockwork, but he walks into the arms of the center War Runner. And there is the Herbstop. BKB into Insatiable Hunger, trying to keep him alive. And it seems to be working. Troll Warlord will get the ulti off this time. As Pure, once close to death, now no longer. A beautiful avalanche from Nine Class keeps everyone locked down. It's a double kill from Pure. It doesn't matter that he is Aegis. You just can't kill this man. Gordon, get a TP out. Not going to be enough. Thompson will get the kill. Oh, in the Shadow Demon. Just a little bit of a snap here for that brood mother. And they're gonna take those mid racks, go for the top racks as well. They could get megas here. Troll Warlord not up for 10 whole seconds. So at least this lane of racks. And it looks like the final fight here for Secret. They're gonna get a slow. There is the stun from Boone. Instantly silenced up. Topson rooted up by the Ember Spirit. A little bit close to his, his brood there. It takes a lot of damage. Lasso will finally hit. But on to no one, Thompson gets himself to safety. Chrysalis gonna have to pop the ulti early there. Pure, ducking, weaving, zigging, and zagging. And now he's just gonna manfire Troll Warlord. Tiny gonna get low, but he does keep his team alive with the Avalanche. Jump in from Thompson. He wants to kill the Troll Warlord. He's looking an awful lot like a Shadow Demon. Disruption will save him though, as Pure keeps going. Ages for eight seconds. Now gonna TP back to base. Okay, he's out. They wanna get out. Ramsey's now. Okay. They're chasing Ramsey. He's gone back into the base. Does have TP. Going to use it. Oh, Boom would have caught him. Ready? To be lassoed down onto the high ground. Pure. Gonna go on in. That blade mail doing a lot of pure. Able to lie still few it. There is the stampede before he dies. Clockwork. Oh no, Storm. He just sees Shadow Demon. And if he sees Shadow Demon, he's killing Shadow Demon. They get the kill, two dead here, no buybacks. And uh, the last lane of Rax looking like it will fall. Mega creeps. So Secret no, they are smoked up on their top side. This is moves forward, there's the lasso on to the clockwork. They just need to find one. And of course, Thompson finds the backline, finds the Shadow Demon and goes for it. Has the vision as well to keep going with that gem. Meanwhile, Troll Warlord doing a lot of damage to the Brood. Pops his ulti, and there it is. They manage to get the kill on the Spider. Topson doesn't manage to kill the backline. And Broodmother loses one life. But Troll stuck in the middle with you. Silenced up. Trying to go for the Star Spirit. Not going to work. Pure right clicking him up. And Chrysalis gets baited into the back of everyone. It's a Shadow Demon buyback. Boom. Will fall. And the Ancient is exposed thanks to those Mega Creeps and good game is cool. Well, that's it back from the fountain. Ramses will die for it, but Topson gets himself another support kill and game one goes over to the side of Tundra. Topson's still getting pressured really heavily in this lane as Corden. Might even go for the kill. Simulate. Thompson gonna miss it and then the pull back! And Corden gets first blood! That first game. Well, Thompson really nullified him. That crystal is getting gone on here. The root did hit. Nine class. Could be in danger. Nope. Oh my god, the double edge. 
Level one, but it does so much damage. Listen, by the way, when Topsy got solo killed and now dies in the lane, tries to hit up the follow-up stun, picks up the bottle as he goes. Topson in a lot of danger now, doesn't have an ability to dodge any of these, does have the barrier though. The damage stacking up from Corden, TP in from the Dark Willow. Corden takes a few tower shots, rooted and dies. <laughs> Corden has level six. So you'll see him. Now gonna go into tower. Gets down the acid spray. Trying to get those tower shots to do a lot. Has the stun. But nothing to be done. He is gonna go the radius build. As I said, just farming up. Happy to farm in the jungle. A lot of gold entering his pocket. And now his farm should really accelerate. Static link onto Topson as he tries to gank puppy here. There is the stampede. Will get them with the dissimilate. Now it's gonna be the razor that's the target. And Dark Willow arrives. Bedlam is caused, and it is a double kill up in the top lane. Topson and the center wall runner in terms of farm. Not had a good lane on this Razor. Gordon all's in for the rune bot, and Shake Shack all's in for the rune top. <coughs> Doesn't even stop them from getting it. Well, TP for the top from Shake Shack. They want to try and get something here. Ramsey's going to be slowed down, sign the stuff. There is the follow-up stub, but Phoenix is here. There is the fear from Minecraft and the egg. They shouldn't be able to fight around this. Gordon going to zip in. A good stun from Ramsey. Keeps himself alive, though. They get the kill onto Chrysalis. Dodge is stunned by Gordon with the lightning of Pure. Ready to stand his count. Gordon going to try and TP, but stunned up. Nowhere to go and brought down. They even give the kill to Alchemist. Smoke up from Secret. They pressure the, the position five Phoenix. Tries to get themselves to safety. Instead will go towards Chrysalis. Gonna be Alchemist now heading towards Blink. Gordon, so close to his Blink dagger. There is Sirk and Pure get there in time for the follow-up stun. There is the silence, there is the kill. And Pure picks it up. And now he pings for the high ground. There is no one coming to save this tower. They have Fortify and they'll eventually use it. Oh. BKB used on boom. There they go. They find the alchemist. He did get the ulti off, but not the BKB. And now Secret can run wild. They find Thompson. One jump out. There's the dissimilate into the trees, but there he is stunned and no other way out. A good fear, a good stun from Ramses will slow them down. Another dissimilate. Chick Shack not going to be able to hit the stun. White Mom goes in, has Egg. Will offer himself up as the sacrifice as Chick Shack will die to nine class. But it was a good black hole there to get that alchemist out of the fight. Secret are in the area, but Pure is there as well. They move forward. Good thing can be for Christmas. Keeps him alive. Gets the link onto alchemist. But I believe, yep, Shake Shack just dead. Topson. Gonna do the fade away once again. And this alchemist is all alone, by the way. Like, literally no backup. That's how scared Secret are of him. <laughs> Okay. From nine class. Blink forward from the Dark Willow. Now they find Christmas. There's the taunt. Let's find Puppy in the back line to simulate. Guess he's in the wrong direction. Is Puppy going to TP out? There's the Stampede trying to get rid of that static when Gordon goes in. A good egg to keep the fight going. Chrysalis sticks on top of Thompson, but he has not gotten the kill. He's BKB. He's trying to get out, but there is the stun. The right click's coming through, but no basher. Alchemist doesn't really hit that hard at the moment. And no lockdown will mean the Razor gets away. Alchemist is now six slotted. Not many places to go. They smoke up. They find Thompson once again, who jumps in and then jumps out. And they're going to solo Black Hole. But the fear! He did a BKB on Boom! Does Thompson survive this because of that? Simulate doesn't have an astral step. Nine class here with the stun of Gordon. And a pure jump forward with everything. There is the BKB. Absolutely mauls Gordon. And just as I was praising Secrets, ability to take those fights. Boom just doesn't use his BKB and uh, they might have just lost the game because of it. They may have just lost the game because of it. TP from Enigma going to get interrupted by Ramses. And he's just dead wrong. They didn't even use Egg by the way. That was just pure terrorize. And then you saw Secret didn't even really know what to do once the once the black hole got interrupted they find the storm spirit they kill 
the Razor, who's just unable to really dish out the damage. And this is the danger of slipping up against an Alchemist. This is what I was saying when I said it was tense. You do just lose your base, Chrysalis. Pops BKB. Something that maybe Boom should have done, and Pure just goes forward with the overwhelming blink, and his ultimate doesn't feel very threatened. Jump forward, here's the stun. Boom does have Black Hole because of the Core, and Pure feeling himself maybe a bit too much. Has he done enough damage to win them the fight? No Astral Step from Thompson. There's the Terrorizer. Thompson tries to TP out. Not sure about that one, but just as I am again lamenting Secret's position, Tundra, they get a little bit too comfortable. You see two teams smoked up around the Roche Pit, dancing in the tree line, breaking smokes. There's Puppet, gets stunned up. He's gonna absolutely get blown up. And there it is. Topson gonna be one to pick up the kill with the actual step. Now, looking for more. Heads onto the high ground. They see Razor. No, they don't see Razor. They almost see Razor in the trees. Razor, though, gets the link onto the Alchemist. He pops BKB, but the black hole is there, and they have no way of saving him. 85 seconds dead on the Alchemist, 50 seconds dead on the Phoenix, and it's a double kill for Chrysalis. And what do I say? Alchemist walks into the Roche Pit. And he doesn't get out. A good stun onto Chrysalis, and it looks like Tundra want to fight this. They go forward. Shiksha getting very low, but there's the axe from Gordon. It's a bigger black hole than Boom has cast this game, but it's the double fear from the Dark Willow that really needs to be respected as they get the Razor kill. Look at the damage. It takes them a while, but they do finally get Roche. There is Aegis on Pure. It would have been very confusing if they didn't give Pure the Aegis. Nishin White one gets Vision up on the high ground. Doesn't get spotted by Secret. But they spot the Phoenix. They go forward, but a Wind Waker to keep himself safe there. Pure goes forward with the stun. No, just stuns himself, but it's in the wave. They see him. Lotus Orb gets the Static Link back onto the Razor, so it's effectively doing nothing. Thompson, meanwhile, disrupts the backline. Alchemist melting, though, will go down. Aegis is popped. Marcy going to be lost by Secret, but they get the kill on Thompson, and boom, remembers this time BKB. So it's a one for one, but you lose your mid, and Secret immediately buy back. Pure has given out an axe. Now he wants to stun. There's the Hex. There is the follow-up stun, and Storm oversteps his bounds that fresh hex on the dark willow 40 seconds until black hole is up we could potentially get two root and stun up on the skyra the silence will stop the initial stun for ramses but it's not needed white mon will pick up that kill in their ti qualifying spot Come forward from the Dark Willow. They're going to get the Hex. The follower is there from Thompson. So is the Silence. And they get the kill. And Nygma doesn't have buyback. Alchemist up in the air. Chrysalis sapping as much damage as he can. Pure going to get his ulti off. And he's in the egg. You can't kill him. That was genius. That was a GG. As Tundra take a clean 2-0 against Secret. Secret forced down into the lower bracket.